Hey, Garcia. Yeah, Chad. I was thinking, how many charismatics does it take to change a light bulb? Only one. My hands are already raised. Oh, yeah? Well, how many Pentecostals does it take to change a light bulb? It takes 10, Chad. One to change a light bulb and nine to pray against the spirit of darkness. Okay, how many Roman Catholics does it take to change a light bulb? None, Chad. Roman Catholics only use candlelight. All right, well, how many Baptists does it take to change a light bulb? Well, at least 15, Chad. One to actually change a light bulb and three committees to approve the change and decide who brings the potato salad. Hmm, how many Mormons does it take to change a light bulb? The answer is five, Chad. One to do it and four wives to tell them how. How many Unitarians does it take to change a light bulb? Oh, Chad, dude. Look, man, we don't feel the need to speak for or against the need for a light bulb, bro. No way. But, man, if in your own personal journey you feel that need, like you're drawn to the luminescence of a light bulb, bro, totally write a poem or like an interpretive dance, bro. You know, you can just get the arms moving. And then you can share that inner light bulb with the rest of us at next Sunday service. Right on. How many Lutherans does it take to change a light bulb? None, Chad. Lutherans don't believe in change. All right, Garcia. How many Amish does it take to change a light bulb? What is a light bulb? <laughs>